Happy Friday. WebCME wants you to start your weekend with a win. The Clinical Connection Friday feature is Questions and Curies. I was recently asked, what is the role of ultrasonic debridement in wound bed preparation? Low frequency ultrasonic devices provide clinicians with a unique debridement tool. The goals of removing necrotic tissue and debris, excising mechanical barriers such as roll margins and hyperkeratotic and callus edges, removing senescent cells and establishing an acute wound can be accomplished with our typical sharp tools such as a scalpel or sharp curette. However, these can also be accomplished with ultrasound guided debridement devices such as the Q-Stick curette. However, ultrasonic devices provide additional benefits of delivering ultrasonic energy to the wound base. This energy results in acoustic streaming and cavitation. Acoustic streaming stimulates cellular activity, enhanced fibrogen collagen synthesis, and epithelial cell proliferation has been proven following ultrasonic tissue stimulation. However, the primary benefit of ultrasonic debridement is cavitation. This results in bacterial killing. Cavitation is the formation of small bubbles in the ultrasonic gas containing fluid. The vibration of the bubbles causes changes in the permeability of the bacterial cell membranes and interrupts their metabolism. Tiny shock waves produced by the bubble implosions cause preferential and rapid emulsification of necrotic fibrin and slough and fragmentation, as you see here, of the bacteria on the wound surfaces. It also disrupts biofilms. It is important to note that no damage to healthy tissue or to host cells occurs during ultrasonic debridement. Thus, ultrasonic debridement provides everything that can be accomplished with a blade, but with the additional benefit that is not typically provided by surgical steel, this being cavitation and bacterial killing. Wynn believes that ultrasonic debridement should be used in every wound care center that claims to be a center of excellence. It is important that excellent wound bed preparation is incorporated into all wound care algorithms. But it is critical when performing grafting procedures such as the application of cellular and tissue-based products. That's this week's win. We hope this clinical correlation will enhance your wound care practice. Be sure to send us your questions. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn. Enjoy a safe and relaxing weekend.